Hey, what's up guys, Sal here and welcome back to the Tech Talk TV. So on the same day Apple announced the iPhone 10, Samsung's mobile chief DJ Ko teased a smartphone with a foldable display. He told Bloomberg the foldable phone would launch next year. However, he added Samsung is yet to overcome a few problems that could impact its release date. A foldable Samsung phone referred to as Galaxy X has been in the rumor mill for a few years now and rumors intensified further after DJ Ko's comments. The device has got recently certified by different authority sites which indicates that it is nearing completion. If the Galaxy X rumors persist, they could somewhat affect the sales of the Galaxy S9, which is only a few months away. Don't get me wrong though, the S9 will be a beast of a device and will get an improved dual camera setup capable of recording slow-mo videos at 1000 fps, which is about 4 times higher than the iPhone 10. It would also run a more powerful Snapdragon 845 chipset and a fingerprint scanner that's embedded under the display. But since the Galaxy X is going to be a revolutionary product, it could prompt some potential S9 buyers to hold on to their current phones until the revolutionary folding phone hits the store shelves. Apple is facing a similar situation right now. The demand for the iPhone 8 and the 8 Plus is extremely low because people know that a better device is right around the corner. So how can Samsung avoid the same trap as Apple and ensure the Galaxy S9 remains popular? Well, Samsung knows how to pull it off. They could follow the same pattern as the Galaxy Note Edge. The Note Edge with a one-sided curve was introduced with the Galaxy Note 4 in 2014. It gained critical acclaim upon arrival. However, it was launched only in limited quantities in South Korea and was never described as a flagship product. Samsung proved the technology in its home market before adding curved displays to other phones and making curved edge premium phones available worldwide. If Samsung follows the same pattern, it could launch the Galaxy X in South Korea in limited quantities to assess the consumer response before launching it in international markets in 2019. This way, Samsung will be able to ensure that the Galaxy X has minimal impact on the Galaxy S9. Anyways, what do you think? Is the Galaxy X gonna affect the sales of the S9? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.